Joshua Akkad, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Ba'ashem HaMashiach, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Kom Yahshallah, Kom Yahshallah, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Kom Yahshallah, Kom Yahshallah, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Kom Yahshallah, Kom Yahshallah, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Kom Yahshallah. Just make sure that's la oh hi oh shalom shalom boys and girls welcome to another episode of Israel Light Cells and today's lesson is gonna be about the true image of Yahweh Shah that the world has ignorantly taught you to call Jesus Christ that's right his proper name is Yahweh Shah in the modern Hebrew, Ibrit, referred to as Yeshua or Yeshaya. Huh. Here, it's getting in my face. I gotta cut these dreads. Nevertheless, my name is Priest Zadok. Muslim Ha, Muslim May. I ask you in the Ibrit. How are you, boys and girls? And your response should be so to da. Meaning in English, fine, thank you. And so I really wanted to find my friend, my Ak. And by the way, boys and girls, in the Ibrit, in Hebrew, Ak means brother. So I really wanted to find my brother, Yahawadah. Yahawadah in the Lasharam HaKadash means Judah. You know, like the tribe of Judah. Judah, he's a good guy. And I heard him scolding some of the youth about breaking the laws. But in fact, Judah is violating the laws himself. One of the laws that Judah happens to be violating is the law that God orders men that are capable to have a beard. That's right, your father should have a beard according to the Bible. When we read in the book of Leviticus, the 19th chapter, the 27th verse. Oh, here he comes now. Wait, there he is. Hey, hey, Judah. Come over here. Hey, Judah. Huh. Huh. It's hiding behind that tree. Um, Judah? Judah? Come here, Judah. Where is Judah? Oh, there he comes. Hey, Judah. Yeah, shalom. Yeah, hey. Yeah, what's up? Hey, look at my fringes. Hey, what's up? It's, it's Kahan Judah. Yeah, hey. What's up? It's a doc. 
Hi man, I hope you today. I'm fairly busy, cause can you make it quick? Oh yeah. Where did they go? Well, I'm over here, Judah. It's me. It's a dog. Here I am. Judah, I've been wanting to have a word with you because I heard you, well, dreads getting in my face. I heard you telling the youth that you had fringes, which was good. You wore your fringes with a border blue in accordance to numbers 15, verse 38. But Judah, one of the things that you're not doing that the Lord forbids is that you're not totally keeping the law because you're clean shaven. And if a man cannot grow facial hairs, that's understood. But you're purposely cutting your facial hairs and you're walking around in a Masonic European tie. Why is that, Judah? Why? Where's Judah? Well, oh, I'm over here. Right here. Now, how about I'm sitting on this tree. Well, the reason being is I really don't have a legitimate excuse. Truth is, Yahweh Da is right. I humble myself. Oh. But I repent. Yahweh Da is correct. Well, thanks for being honest, Judah. But me being correct. Hey, 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 wait. Where's your hollow dog? I'm right here. Thanks for being honest, Judah. But me being correct does not fix the issue. What fix the issue is that you doing the correct thing. In the book of Leviticus. Chapter 19, verse 27, children, says, You shall not cut the size of your heads. Meaning, you see how these people get the fade haircuts and so on and so forth? We're not to do that. That's right. And it goes on to say, Neither shall you clip the edges of your beard. That means you're not to cut your beards off like you see. Yahawadah has his. If you look at Yahawadah, he has no beard. Look at him closely. He's just sitting there and shocking off. But the truth is, he has no beard beard. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. The Hawada, the next day, I con priest Zadok want to say to you is that Leviticus 19 and 28 says, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. That's right, children. That means no excessive body piercing in remembrance of the dead, nor print any markings on you. I am the Lord, Yahweh. That means no tattoos. How many of you have tattoos? You're not to have those in accordance with the Lord. Do you understand that, Yahweh Da? Yes. Deuteronomy, the 14th chapter, verse 1. And the children, ye the children of Israel, of the Lord your God, ye shall make no cut on yourselves, nor make any boldness between your eyes for the dead. So we're not to have bald heads. And finally... The book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 41 verse 5. Which reads that 
there came a certain Shechem from Shiloh, and from Samaria, even fourscore men having their beards shaven and their clothes rent, having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hands to bring them to the house of the Lord. So we are to honor and to obey the Lord's of the Lord, thy power. Do you understand, boys and girls? So now let's tune in to the youth and see what they are doing today. It's Esau still being that troublemaker. Let's see. Let me get in my Jeep. The dog's gonna push me off. Here, let me start my vehicle. Here. Now I'm gonna go and get my work out on. He's right here. I'm start this thing I'm up. Bass. Enjoy your afternoon. As always, thanks for listening. Let's go for a drive here. I'm gonna head to the gym now. Sure everything's set. Brake seatbelt. Always remember to wear your seatbelt. Uh, boys and girls. We always wanna put this seatbelt on for safety. Appreciate how it dark. As you see, I'm actually leaving the UFC gym. Just been getting my burn on. Yeah, I work out. The priest works out. So I'm gonna get out of here. So I have one out today, boys and girls. But as you see, I'm on the freeway now. Yeah. I stay at a safe speed. I try not to speed because of pop up. What, what, what's that? Oh, there's a motorcycle. I try to stay in spirit. It's priest Judah. See, I drive safe. Oh, oh, I'm speeding a little bit. Just let me slow down here. Slow, slow. Here she is. I try not to speed. I don't want to get pulled over by the Popo. But if I do, I'm going to resort my rights. UCC 1-308, Old Rights Resort. I'm not a driver. I'm just simply driving in my conveyance or on the freeway. Hey, these guys are really speeding today. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hey, wait, who's that? What are you doing there? You don't Rahman? interrupt me in the middle of the fatiha. I, I was just asking, what are you doing? I am, I am reading the Quran, but I was actually reciting the I was reading ar fatiha It's the first surah in the Quran. By the way, you saw. What is your religion? Islam is the only true religion. Uh, wait, what? No, it's not. And by the way, um, why do you sound like you're speaking Chinese right now? The, aren't, aren't you American? I'm not American. I, 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 I am actually from Bangladesh. But, but my religion but is everybody, Islam. I follow Rasul. Everybody knows about the so American. So Islam. I said, everybody knows about the American dream. So if you're not from America, you shouldn't even be here. I mean, that is a rude thing to say. You know, shouldn't be in America either. Because before you got here, the indigenous people was in. So you shouldn't be in America either. And if I told you to go back home, where would you go, Esau? Back into the caves of Europe? And then to the Caucasus Mountains? I know your history, the right, man. Uh... Where are you gonna go? Um, yeah, well, uh, well, if we keep Why don't you, you consider to becoming a Muslim? Turn your life over to the Allah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Allah Yaqbar. Uh, first, I'm not a weirdo, so I'm not gonna be doing that. And second of all, uh, I don't wanna be a Muslim. Islam is such a beautiful religion. Is it such a beautiful religion? I know that you once going to the syndicate. Listen to that guy. That's a dark child, babe, but they don't want to get the roof. This is the roof. It's lime. I like you, Akbar. I like you, Akbar. First off, I'm trying to become an Israelite. That's what I'm watching tells it on Shah. And he knows a lot about law. And second of all, um, tells it on Shah doesn't like Muslims like you anyway. So I'm not going to follow this dumb religion. I'm an Israelite. And I told you I didn't want to follow your religion because I'm not weird like that. 
Islam is such a beautiful religion. No, it's Islam. not. What are you doing here? This is why the priest kicked you out. Priest? What are you talking about? Yeah, I am not a priest. I am an Iman. Iman. Iman Mahmur. <sighs> I don't care about you or your priest. Mind your business. This is not about you. It sounds like you have the shaitan on you, Esau. For years and centuries, you've done nothing. Your people has actually conquered the people of the world. I guess they see what they wrote in the Torah was correct. Shut up, Bobby. And that's why your religion sucks. You're really rude. That's why I don't really like you. You're always bullying people, and I don't like that. Like I care. And God is right. No, oh, no, God is not right. And his name is not God. His name is Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is not right. He is a melanated man like me. Praise be to both I. I'm an Israelite. And you how I, since um, people think that, some people think he's black and white, I'm going to say he's mixed. When you say that you're an Israelite, are you referring to the Jews? I'm referring to my people, and that's it. If you are referring to the Jews, I can recall it. I listened to the guy, guy tell you talk, and he said something about Revelation 2, verse 9, that those that say that they're Jews and they're not, I believe that he was talking about your people. You're not the Jews. You're super we are Jews. You saw. You, I don't really like you because how you talk to other people, and why you and why are you so mean? How is someone bullying you at home? <laughs> it's not your concern anyway. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna. And, well, after There's this, only one thing that can save you. Is showing that it's the religion of Islam. Become a Muslim now. All you have to do is take your shahada and say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad or Rasulullah. First off, I can't even say that, so I'm not doing it. And second of all, I'm not going to be a Muslim. Then stop being so rude and It's wrong to such a beautiful religion. Okay, shut up about saying Islam is a beautiful religion. No one really cares. Yeah, you guys are weirdos, especially and, the, you. And you're mean and rude. I don't like you that much because you're so mean and rude and probably no one likes you except your parents because how, how, you, you probably boss your parents around because how you are. Well, uh, my parents love me, and they hate you. It's how do you know? How do they know they hate me if they haven't even seen me? Wait, what? You don't understand anything. I think you are mean and dumb. Wait, what? You haven't even met your parents? You haven't met. I haven't met your parents. You're sucking and annoying. This Shalom. Wait, what? Shalom. Who are you? You know who I am. It's this priest, Zadok. What is actually going on here? Here's ba I hear a bit going on about religion. Well, I happen to be a Kahan to the highest degree. I am a high priest, Zadok. Zadok in the Bible actually was the priest that ruled during the time of King David and his son, King Solomon. Now, what is this that I hear about Islam, Mahmoud? Are you trying to convert people to a religion? The Most High, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah did not give us religion. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to abide by. Religion was actually created by men. It comes from the Greek word, religo, which means to bind, hold down, and restrain. So religion means to bind someone to a specific belief, not actual facts. When you're dealing with we, Israelites, it happens to be a way of life, not a religion. 
It's not something that you can convert to. It's a way of life. You must be born an Israelite. Bah Hashem, Hamashi Yah, Yahweh Shah. Uh, first of all, as far as being a Jew, Eastlaw, you can never be an Israelite. It is not something that one could actually convert to. Israelite, again, is nationality. We're dealing with nationality. We're not dealing with religion. People can convert to religion, but never nationality. Hey, wait, wait, let me get up there so I can talk to you first. First off, um, white people committed everything. Your people done nothing. And second of all, we made all of you. And, um, and, oh yeah, and the last one, <coughs> you guys, and, and David, who, that kid, you guys are annoying. You guys are weirdos, and you always talk about this religion crap. It's so annoying. This guy, Esau, is extremely rude. Boys and girls in the audience do not be like him. First of all, Esau, the scripture says, let everything be done in decency and in order. So humble thyself. Next, you did not create us. You came from us. Everything has its origin in darkness. It is scientifically, genetically impossible to get so-called white, which is not really right, children. It is red, a derivative from pink, from what they refer to as black, which is not really black. We're melanated. We're <laughs> neglushet in the Hebrew, in the Hebrew, or Moorish, meaning we have the copper color skin. So everything has its origin in darkness, Esau. Your people did not come into existence until the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, when a son by the name of Esau was born to Rebekah and Jacob. Go and read it for yourselves, boys and girls. No, and this no. is the truth. No, that's not true. As far as you creating everything, that's your history true. was stolen from our history. Amen. These Amen. are the actual facts. Amen. There's Amen. many lies being told in schools today. But programs like this is going to change all of that. This yeah. is why you should tell your friends, boys and girls, to subscribe to this channel to get as many subscribers as possible so that they can learn the truth. I'm finished teaching here and... Hey, 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 I'm talking to you. I have one thing to say. How is that even true? And Jesus is white. He's not well, white and his name is not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shah and he is melanated like me. This is correct. Jesus may be white Jesus from Jesus, but that is not someone that we knew. That is a Greek God. It has nothing to do with the Bible. But if if Yeshua or Yeshua that you call Jesus properly, Yahweh Shah in the Lashawam Hakadash walked the earth today and you utter that phrase, Jesus, he wouldn't acknowledge it because he was never called that when he walked upon the face of this earth, Esau. First off, um, um, how does that even mean anything if your people are worshiping Jesus? Your people worship Jesus and my people worship Jesus. His that is because... Mark, Jesus, stop calling him that. If he came down here, he would slice you with his sword. That is correct. And this is where he's returning to cause war with the sword when we read the book of Revelations chapter 19, verse 11. Write that down, boys and girls. He's coming back for war. And Esau, ultimately, all of the separation that you're talking is eventually going to come to pass. Ultimately, in these last days, he's going to separate the wheat from the tear and the lamb from the goat. But, but I thought, I thought that Jesus came for peace. He didn't came for world destruction. That is the lie that your people has taught after the Renaissance and in these theologian schools. But I have to go now. I'll bill later. From this point on, David, you are to have no relations with Esau. Esau has a vexed spirit on him. Fulfilling the scriptures again, 
He was blessed by the sword. He loves to argue and cause chaos throughout the earth. Right. Meanwhile, Esau and Becky is praying to Cedro Bozier that they call Jesus Christ. And we tune into the scene where Esau and Becky, his sister, is praying. <laughs> Thank you, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hey, what you guys doing? None. What are you guys doing? We're preaching to the Lord. We're praying. Yeah. Uh, to the, cause to um Jesus, who's white, and your kind's not allowed here. What are you doing here? Because. White people are the best, and they've done everything. No, that's not true. Yes, yeah, how is John's black? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 not around here. No, he's not. He's white. Yes, he is. No, he's see, white. look at this picture right here. Yeah, he look at it. is white. Yeah, he's white. That's a fake. Prove it. Yeah, prove it. That looks printed. It's not no, mm -mm. everywhere. This is this is the picture for it's printed. Jesus. Printed, printed, printed. Mm. Printed it. Well, not not today. Did you make it? Oh, that's not when you learned that Shabbat Shabbat service. Well, they mm. kicked me out, and I don't care. Hmm. Well, you didn't make food. You didn't make anything. Did you make the ground? No. No. My did you make condit, the sky? My what kind of question is that? Did you make the sky? No. Yeah, how and yeah, how Shah did. Hmm. No. He did. Mm-mm. God and Jesus did it. Put that down before I throw it in the trash. You better <gasps> get out of here before I throw you, you in the get, trash. You better get out of here. Get well, out. I learned karate. Get out. Wait, wait, wait. Just get out. Uh, no. Uh, you can't make me get on, out. Guys? What? What's hmm. going on? What do you want, you old man? Who is this? My name is Priest Zadok. What do you want? How can we help you? I'm, here, not I'm here. here to edify you guys. Your God's not allowed to be. Shalom, shalom, all. What do you My doing? name is Kahan, meaning Priest Mickey? Zadok. Priest Zadok. And I'm here to clear this up. The image that you see. Right there, and you focus in on that image, so the listening children. Why did you do that? So the listening children, put the image back against the thing. You could actually see what's going on here. Now the image that you actually see on the screen, boys and girls, that is not the image of the one that the world has actually taught you to call Jesus Christ, whose proper name is Yahweh Shah. That is the image of Cedro Bogier. He was the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. Now, Esau, you, you, saw, you said some very racial, um, awful things to young David here. So we're going to clear that up with the truth. Like you, I care. You spoke about, listen up, Esau. Just listen up. If what, you could what? just be quiet for a second. Could you? Then perhaps you will learn something. I don't want to learn anything. From Please, your time. just be quiet. Yeah. Just be quiet. So, so mean. the true image of Yahweh Shah was altered. What happened, Esau, is your people starting during the time of the Renaissance, which essentially means rebirth. Your people repainted all over the original images who were melanated people, which you refer to as so-called black people. So all of the prophets, when you read the Bible, Esau, are so-called black people. Did your parents or your schools teach you that? No, because they're not teaching the truth. Now, the image that you had there, um, flip the image around. Flip the image around, please. No, this, that's my picture. Okay, let me show that's the true guy here. That's this guy right here. He posed for the image of the fake new Christ. And anyone that didn't worship this image would eventually 
be killed in 1492 when the Europeans invaded our country, America, and kill all of the Gadites that would not bow down and worship this image. But this man's real name is Cedro Bogier. He is the second son of Alexander VI, Pope of Rome. He was a pedophile and a homosexual. So that you could actually understand that is not the true image. Now, this image was originally painted by Leonardo da Vinci, who was also homosexual. Here is a true image. So let's put that up there. This is the true image of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Do you see that, David? Mm, not really. What do you mean you don't see it? It's right there on the screen. Oh, no, I see it. Okay, so that is the true image. And you guys are all wrong. That's Jesus. This Byzantine period. The Byzantine Empire and the Renaissance period, um, the Israelite rulership, the true icons dates from 1100. But during what they refer to as the Renaissance, which means rebirth, the false icons was actually put out and they started whitewashing the images. This is why you're worshiping Cedro Bozier, Esau. Around the 1700s, they began to change the image. Yeah. And then the ancient icon of Christ dates back to 900 AD. Then in the 1400s, they changed the image to that image that you see on the left. Let me give you more of what I'm talking about here. Let me pull out some more information here. If you could just put that up on the screen. So, proving all things, because the scriptures say to prove all things. Put that up there, please. Just stand them up there, please. So Don't the talk about my religion. Just stand them up there so that audience yeah. can see. Stop. So, as you see, that's the true image. Could you get a uh, close-up mm. on that again? So, Esau, when you said that you white own everything, it is simply not the truth. Now, what did Yahweh Shai truly look like the one that you call Jesus Christ when you read the Bible. The book, if you want the truth, boys and girls, you could go. This is what he would have actually really looked like. Put that image there, please. The book of Revelations, the first chapter, verse 13 through 15, it says his hair, his hair, hair in his head was white like lamb's wool. Fill the top of your hair, Judah. That feels like lamb's wool. You see, Esau's hair is straight like a goat. But the depiction that it gives of Yahweh Shah, so that's Christ, why you guys are napping. That is white like lamb's wool. And his feet Did like burnt brass, as if they was actually burnt in an oven. And of course, I'm paraphrasing that. And if you look at it, that would be my color, not yours, Esau. You're not a white. You are red, a derivative of pink. I'm not. Do you understand that, Esau? I'm so the history that your people has created is a lie. And anyone that comes forward and speaks the truth, they want to silence them. They want to censure them. But praise be Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, the truth is coming out today. And that's the truth boys and girls. This is the real gospel that God spell that the Edomites have you under will be broken in these last days. Once again, Esau, my name is Priest Zadok. I don't care. You should have never is. been attending the assembly anyways. Priest Howard is a little bit off. I scold him about his beard, but there should not be a mixed multitude within the assembly, according to thus saith the Lord. For understanding on that, boys and girls, read the book of Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, verse one. You're not an Israelite. 
white people. They made everything. All the celebrities were made from white people. They did everything. They created shoes. If it wasn't for white people who created Nike, then there wouldn't be any Jordans. There wouldn't be anything. There wouldn't be cars or anything. I couldn't agree more with that, Esau. But the fact of the matter is, it is melanated people, so-called black people, that spend their fiat on that nonsense. And if they would actually invest within their own communities, the power will come back to us. And as it is written in the book of Revelations 13, verse 10, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, which means Esau eventually the Israelites will rule again. And it's coming to that now. So that's today's lessons, boys and girls, showing you the truth that all of the prophets, all of the angels, everyone in the Bible that's an Israelite was either so-called blacks, Hispanics, or e Native American. Even Esau, if, please be quiet. E you even if um, if Yahweh tried to destroy the world, whatever your fake God is, if he even um, tried, we would go life on Mars. And that's another fabricated tale. But nevertheless, boys and girls, learn your origin in this world. You are great people. You have a great history. Oh, learn who you are. Shalom. The priest of the doc is out. Cut. Mm-hmm.